With the announcement of Luigi's Mansion 3, I was really curious where the franchise was headed. Would Nintendo and developer Next Level Games continue down the path set by Dark Moon? Would they veer more towards the original? Or would it be an entirely new experience? Luigi's Mansion 3 actually takes elements from both the original and Dark Moon to create a clever mix of both. Oh yeah! Luigi's Mansion 3 is set in a single hotel, just like how the original game takes place in a single mansion. But every floor is unique, which is more similar to Dark Moon. For example, there's a medieval floor, a production studio, and a museum in the third game. No longer are you pulled out and back to the lab every time you finish an objective like Dark Moon, and you can even go back to any floor whenever you'd like. Luigi's Mansion 3 also introduces the character of Polter Kitty, who sometimes steals your elevator buttons. Polter Kitty jumps from room to room, and even multiple floors. This encourages you to go back to other floors and look at them from different angles. It's true that Luigi's Mansion 3 doesn't have portrait ghosts like the original, instead opting for a boss at the end of each floor, sort of like how Dark Moon had a boss at the end of each area. But the bosses in the third game can sometimes feel closer to the portrait ghosts from the original than the bosses in Dark Moon. Let's take two distinct boss fights in Luigi's Mansion 3, the maid ghost Chambria from Floor 5 and the T-Rex ghost from Floor 9. Chambria is pretty simple, just shoot a suction shot at the briefcase and go from there. It's very similar to some of the portrait ghosts in the original, where the solution to the fight is something small like opening a window curtain, then you just suck away. But if you look at something like the T-Rex from Floor 9, it's much more involved and similar to Dark Moon's boss fights. In that fight, you have to suck up the eggs that fall, shooting one at the T-Rex to munch on while you then shoot another at its exposed chest. I don't want to spoil how to beat the fight, but some goo could really come in handy. So in this case, you get the best of both worlds, and since there are 15 floors and two basements, you get a larger pool of bosses than just a few from Dark Moon, meaning there's room for both. <laughs> Aesthetically, Luigi's Mansion 3 keeps the same ghost designs from Dark Moon, but its atmosphere is closer to the original. There are some genuinely creepy moments in Luigi's Mansion 3, like when King Boo first shows up, and when the T-Rex in the museum first wakes up. But there are some lighthearted moments too, like the Godzilla fight in Paranormal Productions, and DJ Phantasmagoria in the dance hall. More of an evolution than a combination, Luigi's Mansion 3 brings back the dark light from Dark Moon, except now it doesn't have a cooldown period and can be used indefinitely. The game also adds some additional Poltergust expansions. First, there's the suction shot, which sends a plunger with a rope at an object, which you can then pull on to destroy things. Then there's the slam. In Dark Moon, if you tapped A once the Poltergust meter was charged, you'd suck the ghost in a little harder and drain more health. In the third game, you can still charge up a meter, but now you can slam the ghosts. You can even slam them repeatedly, dealing some massive damage. After that, there's the burst, which can help you out if you're surrounded or if the ghost has a defense item. It's also Luigi's only way to jump in this game. Lastly, there's Guigi. Guigi is essentially a second Luigi who can slide through gates and help Luigi when just one person isn't enough. I also want to note that there is the super suction ability, but it's underutilized and can only be done when connected to specific electrical outlets. When it comes to catching boos, Luigi's Mansion 3 is very similar to Dark Moon. The boo hides somewhere in the room, and once you find it, you have to hit it with a dark light. In Dark Moon, the longer you charged up the meter, the more health you take from the boo. But in the third game, you utilize the slam power. The only other difference is that now in Luigi's Mansion 3, you can use HT Rumble to locate where the boo might be hiding. The original game had a completely different system, where the boos wouldn't latch on to the vacuum nozzle and they can easily jump from room to room, sometimes forcing you to go to the floor above or below. The act of searching a room to find a boo, and then something going off to let you know you're close, originated from the first Luigi's Mansion, but otherwise the system from that game is completely gone. Egad as a character was fairly different between the first two games. In Dark Moon, he became rather rude and arrogant, and he was not like that at all in the original game where he was just this weird and eccentric scientist. This is especially evident with his toad helpers who he treated like garbage throughout Dark Moon. While still a little arrogant and looking out for himself, it's significantly toned down in Luigi's Mansion 3. In fact, Egad doesn't nearly have as big of a role in the story. He gets tricked into coming to this haunted hotel just like Luigi, and rather early on you save him from a painting. From there, he gives you the virtual boo, which is this game's equivalent of the Game Boy Horror and the Dual Scream. He has a few moments throughout the story, like his insistence on getting the super suction piece at any cost, but for the most part he just adds new poltergust modifications like Luigi and gives you hints and tips when you need them. You can actually turn off the in-game hints and never ask him for help, unlike the first two games where you frequently had to go back to his lab. So you, more or less, control how much you want to see Egad besides a few required instances early on. 
Given that this is his and Luigi's third major outing together, maybe they're just getting more comfortable and familiar with each other. Or maybe Egad finally understands the importance of Luigi in his life. Luigi. So whether you're a fan of the original, a fan of Dark Moon, or a fan of both, Luigi's Mansion 3 has a little something for everybody. How do you feel about the mix of its predecessors in Luigi's Mansion 3? Let us know in the comments below, and thanks for watching! Yeah! Luigi! Oh yeah! Oh, <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,